Did Google just ban Stable Fusion? Well, yes and no. According to a post from Google Coolab product lead, they are in fact banning web UIs for free users. However, some people with paid accounts have been reporting that it's not really working for them. So who knows where it's gonna end up. So today I'll show you a couple of tools that actually want you to use them for Stable Fusion. Some of them are free, some of them are paid. So uh, let's have a look. Hey, just a quick note from Editing Seb here. I know this is like a controversial topic with Google banning stuff, and I understand that you aren't feeling happy with the Google banning something that you might be using, but please don't dislike this video just because that you dislike Google banning. That will hurt me quite heavily in the algo. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, my local cinema banned bags to stop people bringing in food. But don't worry, I have a few twigs up my sleeve. So all this started with the post on Twitter or X as they call it now from Chris Perry and Chris Perry is the Google Cola product lead here and not a lot of people saw this, me included, however a user posted this on Reddit and that's kind of where people picked it up and uh, well, a lot of people have been using Google Coolab for their stable fusion needs and, you know, other stuff as well. It says here they also banned RVC models. So um, it's going to be a tough time if you have been using Google Coolab for this. But, but don't fret. Let's uh, look at what you can do instead. And there are a few options. So actually, there are a lot of options out there. Um, but I'm just going to introduce a few of them that I have been um, fond of. Uh, the first one is free, and that is stable hoard and once you go to stable hoard there's not a lot here you you might be wondering oh what's going on here it's just a bunch of text but if you go down a little bit here to the graphical user interfaces image generation you have some dedicated web uis that you can just uh, click on so you just go to the stable ui here you end up here so this is like a web user interface for stable hoard running stable fusion and, and you might be wondering well, what is this and why is it free? Well, Stable Horde is actually crowdsourcing. So a lot of people have offered their GPU power from their computers. So they're pooling it together and letting people generate off of their computers. So this is not like uh, one big company offering for free and then want your money. No, this is just a lot of people offering their resources for free. So here you can go in, generate, do whatever. There are a lot of different UIs that you can use. You can get API key if you register an account here on Stable Horde. Uh, so there are some options. Now, it's not as fast as some of the other options because, well, it's free. You're going to have to wait a little bit. But, um, you know, if you just want to play around and, and really can't afford anything and have all the time in the world, it's a good option. I'll give you that. If you do have a little more coin in your pocket, there are a few other options and I would look at tools like Think Diffusion, RunPod, Run Diffusion, uh, and let's start to look here at Think Diffusion. Um, and what's cool about Think Diffusion is first off, they offer four hour trial period. So just go in, try it for free, and you get a lot of fast renders in that time. And once you launched it, it looks something like this. So this is similar to your installed automatic 1111 and something that I have um, enjoyed specifically with Think Diffusion is if you want to upload a model, just go into the model here, it's going to Stable Diffusion folder, so you're in the right folder, and you press the upload here, you can actually copy paste a Civitai link. So if you are on Civitai, let's say you want this uh, vanilla botanical art, whatever, I just picked one at random, right click here, download options, model save tensors, copy link address, just plop that in there and press submit. And that will start downloading your model. So this is a good option if you're actually paying for Google Coolab and want a similar option that's, uh, well, paid. So it's all set up. You don't need to really do anything, but just, you know, pay the fee. There's some quick generations that we did just now. Four out of four, non-cherry picked. So that's kind of cool. Uh, we have pricing here from 47 cents up to $1.75, depending on what machine you want. Now, if you want something even cheaper, you can check out RunPod. And RunPod is, is a place where you can just rent a GPU and their key selling point here, five times cheaper than other clouds. And 
well, I don't know about that, but it's kind of cheap. So you can see here, you can actually find all about, you have an 4,500 here, which is like the cheapest 22 cents. If you're checking for like a 4090, which is a pretty beefy card, you can get it from 42 74 cents. However, you're not going to have everything pre-installed here. So you're going to need to know a little bit about what's going on. So if you're more of a tech user, this could be for you. I know a lot of people are liking it and loving it because you can get like any, you can pick and choose your GPU and just do whatever. Just bear in mind, you are going to need to know a little bit about what's going on. It's not going to be as catered as some of the other tools where everything is just pre-installed and updated automatically. Now, another paid option that's very similar to Think Diffusion is Run Diffusion. And Run Diffusion actually has been around for longer and are currently bigger than Think Diffusion. I would say they are direct competitors. They offer 30 minutes free. And let's see if we can find some pricing here. Uh, there we go. So from 50 cents up to 150, you can get it down to 125, but that's if you pay like $36 a month for their creators club. But apart from that, once you get it up and running, it looks very similar to any other stable fusion installation. We're currently in automatic 11.11 and the difference of some of these tools are sometimes very minor. So it's a little bit about what you prefer. Here we have some quick generations I did of a sub cyberpunk city scene with their acrylic painting preloaded style. Now if you were to ask me what would I recommend? Well I don't want to be too biased but try them out, see what you prefer. I mean Think Diffusion had a four hour trial, Run Diffusion had a 30 minute trial. Go in, try them, see what you like. What I like might not be the same uh, as what you like, what do you prefer. I enjoyed the, the easy just copy paste link from Civitai and Think Diffusion. I think that was very useful for me. Uh, I also enjoy a stable hoard. It's like a super cool thing where everyone just pulls their resources together and uh, everyone can render for free. So check that out as well. Let me know if you have any tools that you prefer that I'm not showing you in this list. I know there are a lot of out there, like simpler ones like Leonardo, MageSpace. They're just like a simple web UI where you can do some quick renders similar to what we see here in stable Horror. but i prefer when you have some more control of what you're actually doing uh, especially with tool tools like think diffusion and run diffusion who are like some of the leaders out there right now so you know just my opinion again let me know what you think in the comments below as always have a good one see ya